Okay, this is the keyway I just cut. Yeah, I don't have a I don't have a tripod, so I really can't set this camera up and just show making repetitious cuts. You know, but you don't need to see that. Yeah, what you need to see is the the actual device that, that holds the shaft here. And, you know, it was it was run in. I don't know if I can do this or not. Okay. It's in here, you know. And crank it out. Turn the machine on, you know, and cut the keyway. Then you can back it out. Like I said, I just checked it um, with the calibers. It's an extremely good tight keyway. Checked it with the calibers. I, I milled it down to where it's uh, max out across the entire shaft is 1.125, which is uh, 1 and 1 8, which is exactly what it should be. There should be 1 8. This key, the shaft should be 1 inch, and the keyway should be sticking out 1 8 of an inch. And Bouncing around one, two, one, three, five. Hmm. Well, it depends on where you grab it, I guess. It's just kind of loose right there. One, two, five, one, two, four. Okay. But that's what it should be. Uh, one point one two six, yeah. So, you know, this is not rocket science. If it's off a thousand to two, uh, if it's loose, it's not going to make that much difference for my purpose. If it's over, I'll hit it with a file and bring it on down. But basically, this is the uh, holding apparatus. I uh, don't know if I can shed some more light on this thing or not. I got horrible lighting. I got to install a, a light over my lathe to bring it up. But as you can see, this is the angle bracket that I made. Okay. There's the angle bracket with the angle welded to the side of it and it holds the shaft in perfect uh, alignment because it was set using the, uh, the center points from the center here to the center of the tailstock. So that, that was dead center and this was positioned there and tack welded and then I took it off and welded it and you just hold it on here with a uh, c-clamp and use a milling bit and that's my milling bit holder that I created mm. yep and that's a one quarter milling bit uh, my thread's not going to show up. Uh, it's a pretty sorry camera, but can't do anything more. So, anyway, there it is. Key to shaft. Uh, inlaid. Have fun. This is a piece of uh, 3 8 by 3 by 3 angle line. And I'm going to cut it, if you can see the line here, and cut it here and across and across. And I'm going to use this to hold my round stock so that I can key it. 
on my lathe. So now the bandsaw is cutting off. It's a little dark over here. This bandsaw is over in the corner. It's a little bit hard to see. The piece of steel is in the bandsaw being sawed off. Alright, I went out in the scrap pile to find some angle and this looks like it'll work just fine. This is some inch and a quarter by a quarter uh, angle line. And I'm going to cut it off uh, maybe an inch or two inches longer than the uh, than the uh, other piece of angle. So, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, I'm not too concerned about dimensions on this thing, so I'm not really measuring it because it's not important. I'm just going to kind of get a little longer here. So I'm just going to make it a little bit longer here. And that should do it. The big angle is going to clamp into the tool holder, but if you notice it sticks out way too far. So I'm going to cut off uh, probably back to here so that it will not stick out very far at all, which will make it a lot more rigid. So that is the next step, cut off the big angle. Now if you notice, now about the inch and a half has been cut off of it and now it is much closer to the two rest which makes it much more stable. So, on to the next step. Well, I just did a whole lot of talking for nothing. The camera wasn't on. But anyway, you can see that I have mounted the shaft in the lathe. I have squared the end of the shaft up and I have uh, used a drill bit with a centering tool and I have run my uh, center into the end and pulled the shaft out far enough that I have room to put this piece of angle here in the bit holder and this angle here is just set in here but with just run out up against it it's holding it secure and it has to be lined up on center because the shaft is on center. So now I will come back and we'll clamp it to the to the piece with the shaft in it so it can't move and I will weld it right here and I will weld it on the other side right here and then I will remove it put it in the drill press and drill three or four holes, pretty good sized holes that I can weld through and I will avoid welding it here or on the bottom side so that it will not draw. Now this is not my idea. I got this from Tupelo Kane, uh, Mr. Pete. Uh, and it looked like a winner to me. So thanks Mr. Pete and this is my attempt at making it. <laughs> uh, for everybody that could not find the video and I don't think I've been able to find it since, well this is my video of uh, making a shaft holder so that I can mill keyways and shafts. Thanks for watching.